picture of the black man in front of Liverpool Cathedral there are marks on his face like a Ghanaian or Nigerian uh, visiting the Liverpool Cathedral so Man evangelist, I'm here today in Liverpool. This is the uh, the Great Western Railway, and back here is a ship. I'm fascinated about ships. This is a ship called the Liverpool Pilot. It's now grounded, it's no longer moving. So I just told you, you know, to show it to you. <clears throat> See, it's called the Liverpool Pilot. It's a. Uh, this was one of the grandest ships during the colonial era of Liverpool uh, people will go on this one to Barbados they'll go to Jamaica they'll go to uh, West Africa they'll, you know on holiday the British uh, travelers so they use that ship to to go on their luxury holidays you see now I know I was Jesus turning water into wine at the wedding at Canaan. You see, this is a luxury ship. It's about merriment. That's when the British Empire uh, was at its peak. This is how they travel. There were no airplanes then, so ship traveling was the norm of the day you know, travel over the world my name is Andrew Mel evangelist uh, i'm here today in liverpool a beautiful city this is this city here composed of over three million black people in the 1700s and they say black people came to england during the wind rush that's false the people were here from 17 even before Queen Elizabeth the first during King Henry the eighth time, black people built this city called Liverpool. They were here sailors from 1400. Um, you know, so and then when Queen Elizabeth the first came, she said because of nationalistic reason and religious reason, uh, they had to throw the black people out of England. So that's how the black people were removed from England. I think they were taken to Caribbean and West Africa and that in, in 1500 you see and then in uh, 1555 they brought another group from Africa again now she expelled them 100 years before and then after that they, they brought them back as slaves this time but when they were here originally they were the owners of the land they were not slaves the blacks that were here they were the owners of England they were not slaves at all so they threw them, the, the, when the white queen got in power, she threw them out and then she brought other black people and said they are slaves. They came to England as slaves just to confuse the history. This is how tricky the English people are. But we know the truth of uh, this ship is called Liverpool Pilot. It's a nice ship. Anyway, God bless you. I'll be seeing you later. The Bible says great power, the apostles 
proclaim the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ and much grace on them all, much grace. This is the Liverpool uh, city landscape here. I saw another angel coming down from the heaven. Having great authority and the earth was illuminated with his glory. Chester, the, the heart of the countryside of England, and here are two friends of mine that are at, at university in this town here. They study, this is studying business management. Say something about this town. What do you like about Chester? Um, this town is kind of um, it's, it's cool, it's yeah. lovely. Yeah. Um, yeah. This is my friend, my first mate. Come and say hi. Come and say hi. Come and say hi, man. My name is Andy. Okay. Yeah, my name is Okay, what you study at, at business finance? Business and finance. Okay, that's good. That's good. This is Chester. I came here like 25 years ago to preach the gospel. And I came back here today to just uh, meet some people. So that's why I'm here. Thank you. Okay, God yeah, bless you. Thank you, sir. Let me, let me get you my words. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm evangelist Andy Lumel. Today I'm here in Liverpool city center. My, this is my old town. I live here for several years, and uh, I'm here to just see some uh, colleagues of mine about the ministry. The Bible says, "Great power, the apostles proclaim the resurrection of Jesus Christ, and much grace was upon them." Thank you, and God bless you. I'll be in touch. They say Slater Street, Liverpool. That's the first public library in Liverpool. It was constructed in 1856. This building here, Slater Street. proclaim the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ and much grace is upon the Lord. I'm here today in the city of Liverpool for proclaiming the gospel of Jesus Christ in the museum. Thank you and God bless you. Yeah. Hi, I'm Andrew. I'm here today in the Liverpool Museum. These, I believe, are what the clothes of the uh, from the band, like the Beatles. These are the suits they wore for McCartney, John Lennon, George Ringo wore that suit. George Harrison wore that. For McCartney wore that. John Lennon wore this one. This is the suits that the famous Beatles band wore on stage when they were playing, singing all night, you know, hard days, night, and whatever. Thank you and God bless you. And these are some of the famous people of Liverpool here. I don't know who these are, but this is the music, the music museum of Liverpool. So I just want to thank you. The Bible said, "Praise the Lord." Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Thank you, sir. God bless. This is a panorama of my where I live tonight. Where I will be staying here. Nice place. Delphi is called. Uh, trying to find a lift. Great is the glory of the Lord. Great is the glory. And he cried mightily with a loud voice saying, Hey, hey. After these things, I saw another angel coming down from the heaven. 
Roman authority and the earth was illuminated with his glory. Christian Church of God, City of Glory Parish. Amen. And, and uh, we just uh, have fellowship on Earth Court Road, London, England, SW5. Today is a winter's day, it's a lovely day. We just like to share some Bible verse with our viewers all over the world. All of you in Nigeria, God bless you. North Africa, God bless you. West Africa, God bless you. South Message to the young to the young ladies who want to get married and they're looking for a partner. Make sure make sure the person is the right person because yeah. when you get married, it's yeah. not something that you can just undo. Uh -huh. So you need to make sure that the and don't listen to people when they say oh, it needs to be a, a two years or three years. Sometimes you meet the person and they have better intentions for you than someone that you've been with all your life. So I would just say listen, pray. That's what you got to do, pray and listen to what God told you. Okay, well, thank you so much. That's okay. okay. God bless you. Bye. Bye. Yes, with uh, a massive, massive encouragement. Mm -hmm. A very long yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, it's a very long time. Yes. Even long, longer than a lot of 
aspect of the epistles. Yes. You know, most of the epistles, this is uh, longer than them. Yes. But uh, you, you see, because of the size, we've been, we often feel, uh, you know, it's too long, yes, you yes. know, to, to go through. But if you have time to go through it, it's contains a lot of encouragement, you know. Okay. And you can see the, 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 the psalmist starting from verse 1. Right. He says, you know, uh, he says, blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk in the way in the law of the Lord. Yes. And you will see that um, what he's doing all through yes. is, is like a struggle. Mm. You know, a, a struggle of the soul. Yes. And uh, when I was studying, I you know, I I, I, I when I got to uh, verse one seven five, he yes. says. Let my soul live and it shall praise thee. Yes. And let thy judgment hey, help hey. me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, uh, he's, let, trying to, he's trying to know, take our, yeah, our yeah, goose. So yeah, I, somebody yeah. trying to take our goose there. So we shouted at him to leave. Sorry him. about that. Okay. okay. <laughs> also, it is yes, which, is, yes. which is nice. Yeah. You know? uh, uh, um, so, um, you see, at, at this time of the year, we often, uh, we often come to a point yes. where it's a point where, you know, we're getting to the approaching the end of okay. another year. Yes. And also the beginning of a new year. Yes. Where people, uh, you know, stop and, you know, take stock. Yeah. And think, how far have I done? How well have I done? And some of us will look at our glass and say oh it's been you know full yeah the, the wisdom of man yes. co comes to an end yes that's where the power of, of god, god begins. Uh, begins and in most cases god always wants to get the glory yes. of whatever happens in our life it doesn't matter whether you are a christian or uh, uh or a non-christian the, the point is you know uh between the two set of people, yes. one gives glory to God, why one lay claim to, yeah, you know, yeah. to, 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 to accomplishment. Yes. But, but uh, the fact is, whatever Apple God wants to take glory, he wants the glory. So, 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 so it let my soul live. Yes. Is it, it, there is a part of us in that time, yes. at this period, that, you know, that, 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 that's facing extinction that's that we find it difficult to be alive our spiritual life yes you know and the bible the, the psalmist said let my soul live yes let my soul lord strengthen me yes lord give me encouragement yes lord i want to leave I, I want to leave please i want to leave father and then he says and he shall praise that my soul will praise the Lord. Yes. You see, it's like uh, last time he said, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So at this time of the year, I want to I want to encourage everybody. Yes. Whether uh, you are looking at your cup and you feel, oh, <laughs> it's not. Uh, My cup is overflowing. Uh -huh. This uh -huh. is the year of harvest for me. Uh -huh. In Jesus' name. But glory to So for everybody, yes. not so for everybody. But if we count our blessings, yes. we will have cause to give God the glory. Amen. Because uh, a living God is better than, than a dead lion. A dead lion. We are all alive. Yes. And that is no reason to give, to say, Lord, I thank you. Whatever it is that God is here to do, yes. He's a God he's, he, that he, everybody that has worked with Him will always say, He's a faithful God. The something to give God. testimony to God. You remember we prayed last for black community yes. in, in Chelsea. Oh, in Chelsea. In black community. My name is Andrew. Andrew Newman. Oh, oh my God! Look at me. How do I look nice? Look nice. I live on. I live, <laughs> I live, I live, I live, I live on Queen's Gate. So where are you going? I'm going to Queen's Yeah, I'm going to Queen's Gate. Where are you going to buy? Um, well, my sister cooked soup. Yes. But um, I want to get some. There's something to give testimony to. You know, mark on his face. You can't see it clear from here. You know, but it's curious. The British 
got that statute from uh, Africa, from West Africa, and they put it on the Liverpool Cathedral. You see, this is the people ask the question, What color is God? Well, there's a black man there in front of the cathedral, or oh, the most uh, senior of all cathedrals, English cathedral. They have a black man at the entrance. It's a long time, I read it yes. most of the time. God, uh, the, the psalmist was saying that his soul, people, people are special in London here. Most people seem to like they lost their soul because of uh, one reason or another. Mm -hmm. So the psalmist was facing that same problem. He said, well, whatever occultist, whatever thing, so whoever is holding my soul or whatever happened for his soul to be far away from him, he commanded his soul to come back in his body. He said, return to your rest once more, O my soul, for the Lord has dealt bountifully with you. Amen. Say, Amen. Satan, get out of here in the name of Jesus. You have no authority here. This belongs to Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm so delighted uh, that we can stand here today and talk about God. Hallelujah. The man of God, we're in there and we're talking about, uh, uh, you know, how God's ways are mysterious. He knows what lies in darkness. He changes the season. This is winter. Just a few months ago, we were in summer. Now, this is winter. It's very cold. You can see we're wearing coats Amen. and jumpers. God changes the season. He lifts, he, he, he changed the king also. If he put one king up, and he bring the other king, you know, down, he put one king up. So this is the God we serve. He's, a, he's all power, all glory, all honor, all majesty belongs to Jesus Christ. So if you are listening to this today, you are not saved as an evangelist. The Bible says, Jesus began to preach. He said, repent for the kingdom of heaven has come. It's not like you, God of Jeshurun, who rise the heavens to help you. Thank you.